I V M. There's a quick survey to fill out on ivmpodcast.com slash survey. It lets us know a little bit more about who's listening to us. And you know what? We're going to do a few prizes. So, I mean, like, we'll do a random drawing of, like, maybe 10 people, and we'll send you all some swag. Remember, that's ivmpodcast.com slash survey, where you can fill out the survey. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy actionable habits. Remember, great habits create that awesome life. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach. And today's fun fact of the day has to do with selfies. Did you know, back in 2015, we were taking 93 million selfies a day. Fast forward now to 2021 and Google reported that 93 million selfies were taken each day just on Android phones. And we all know that iPhone users take way more selfies. So you can imagine just what that count is. But but jokes apart, it's crazy to think how many pictures we end up taking of ourselves. As a whole, we take about 1.72 trillion pictures a year or about 54,400 pictures every second. That's 54,400 pictures again. Can you imagine? And in no time in history has so much data ever been collected, especially just about our faces and the pasta we had last night. I remember back in the days when selfies had just become a thing My dad would offer to take the camera and take a picture of my friends and I and then call it a selfie. Soon, selfies became a rage and an obsession. People's phones were filled with pictures of themselves. They would keep looking at themselves over and over and over and over. We started objectifying ourselves, comparing ourselves all the time, holding ourselves to new standards that did not exist before, standards that we could not live up to, standards that made us feel less than. And then came the filters. They smoothened our skin, took our pimples away, chiseled our jawline, added a sparkle in our eye and sprinkled the photo with fairy dust just for good measure. The standard was raised to impossible heights. How could anyone look that good in real life? I once used a filter just for fun and it added longer eyelashes to my face and lipstick on my lips. Back in 2014, people were worried that selfies would lead to mental stress and disorders. And they even jokingly described it as selfie titers. It's 2022 now, and we all know people who are affected by this. Habituated to taking selfies every day, multiple times a day. And what is so interesting is that it does not look like a dangerous thing. It's so innocent. Yet the habit does affect us mentally, and we begin to compare ourselves. So imagine we take a picture of ourselves and it's a scale. We might be happy or we might feel miserable. And that sounds like an okayish deal to me. A better deal is to take pictures of objects. You know, like the beach, the sunset, even your food. If it makes you feel better overall, that's what is important. The chances of comparison and feeling bad after taking a picture of an object are far lesser. What was discovered to be even better was taking pictures of others. If you have ever taken pictures of someone else, you know how good you feel taking pictures of a group of people. It creates a sense of joy in us. And hence, taking pictures of others is something we should do more of as it makes us feel better. Instead of becoming inward-oriented with selfies, we become outer-oriented. We start thinking about others and that changes the chemistry in our brains. As you know, we are social creatures and anything that helps us being more social is rewarded by the brain. So your super simple habit starts by taking fewer selfies. Instead, start taking pictures of the objects around you and capturing that moment. You can even start taking more pictures of others. This will change the way you feel about yourself and bring about an overall sense of happiness and joy. Usually in a podcast, it's me who speaks to you and you who listens. But I've been seeing your comments and it's time. It's me listening to you. Following the overwhelming success of this podcast, the good folks at IVM Podcast Network have decided to come up with a Kannada adaptation of the show for those who prefer listening to it in that language. Do make sure you let your Kannada-speaking friends know about this as well. Now, if you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM Network. You can listen to us on the IVM Podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IBM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am at Ashton Doc on Twitter and Instagram. 
we have a brand new habit coaching online course quizzes videos and a lot more on the website awesome180.com so check it out now hey it's been another great week on the ivn podcast network on cock and bull cyrus and silvery are joined by nivedita prakasam and abhijit ganguly they discuss srk's new venture srk plus and the kanye west versus pete davidson controversy Join Keshav Chaturvedi on Teri Mere Raste. He discusses holy celebrations across India and how holy traditions in the bridge region of Uttar Pradesh are something completely different. On All Things Policy, the hosts talk about how India accidentally launched a missile into Pakistan. Do check out the Marathi Kirtan podcast, which is back after a short break. New episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. And on Smarter with Sid, Sid tells us three lessons that we can learn from the famous YouTuber Mr. Beast. Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows, for that matter, please do tell a friend. Also, don't forget to rate us on any platform that you might be listening to us. You can also check us out on YouTube. We have a webpage, ivmpodcast.com/slash/youtube, where a list of all our channels are. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week: SBI Life Insurance, Bank of Baroda, India Water Portal, and Max Life Insurance. Thank you so much for making this possible. We know you love fast food, fast fashion, faster payment, lightning fast internet speed. Then why not fast information? On Think Fast, where we discuss the latest developments in the world of technology, business, marketing, pop culture, with a side of sarcasm and my dad jokes, not just mine. Not mine, Varun. My jokes are funny. So join me, guys, the funnier one, Suchita Salwan, co-founder of LBB, and me, Varun Dugirala, the co-founder of the Glitch. As we think fast, only on the IBM Network. Fresh episodes out every Monday on the IBM app, website, or wherever you get your podcast from.